this recipe is called chana potato. The first thing you do is you put a raw chickpeas in water. We then add a little bit of salt and pressure cooker it for about 45 minutes. You need to pressure cooker it for at least 45 minutes to an hour until tender. The salt is about 2 tablespoons per 1.5 cups. So let's pressure cooker it for about 45 minutes to an hour. So part 2 of this video starts with uh, heating up some oil about 3 tablespoons or 2.5 and about 2 tablespoons of mustard seed It's already popping up. It's already popping up. So next, we put our ginger garlic mix. It's a pre-made mix of ginger and garlic. We are going to add a tablespoon each to the mix. Ginger and garlic. And we are going to add the spices in. Half a tablespoon of coriander powder or a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of chili, half a tablespoon of salt. Mix it with a little bit of water. So you mix it up and we pour it in. Masala cook for a bit, about five minutes until it goes dry. The water, as you can see, the mustard has popped. The mustard seed. Okay, let that to cook. As you can see, the oil is starting to separate from the spices, so that means it's almost ready for you to put in some tomatoes. I usually use the Montana brand because it's cheaper than fresh tomatoes so let's put it in as soon as it starts picking yeah it's starting to stick as you, as you can see on the pan that means the spices are ready you then put at least half a, half a bottle of Tomatoes. And you let it cook until the oil separates from the tomatoes just like the spices did. So wait. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to stick down. That means the tomato is almost ready. It's been cooking for about 5 minutes. All we are waiting for it to do is start oiling. At this point, you can reduce the heat and let it simmer. Huh? Oiling is uh, when you start to see the tomato separating from the oil. So that's what we are waiting for. That means the tomatoes will be fully cooked. I have already pre-cut uh, roasted potatoes in four quarters. That is about uh, eight medium potatoes. In so at this point the tomatoes are ready as you can see it's starting to oil and it's also starting to stick at the pan that means the tomatoes are already ready and we can put in the potatoes we cut potatoes while we wait for the chickpeas to be ready in half an hour and then we are going to put all this, what is it called, all this mix into the pressure cooker and pressure cooker it for another 10 minutes until the potato is ready. At this point you can switch off the stove and wait for the chickpeas to be ready. You can even remove it off the cooker. Now we wait for the chickpeas. Okay. So it has been pressure cooking over an hour, about an hour. And it looks like so. 
Now to say if it's tender and ready just take one of it and press and you see it's soft to break. That means it's ready. And it's also very tasty. I need it raw. So the next step for you to do is drain the water. So after we've drained the water, we we'll put in the ready mix in the pressure cooker because we need to cook the potatoes. We'll add some water here so that we can get all the masala Okay, so let's get some more. Yeah, that's about two cups. And uh, we'll give it a little bit of cleaning. Cleaning up. Add the, all the masala. And also give the food some cooking water. Not add a lot of salt because you'll have it with the crepes and crepes are usually salt so make sure the salt is mild but not a lot yeah you'll be eating this with potato chips so don't like it's very salty but slightly to taste next we'll add the drained chickpeas yeah, i like it sometimes too so let's see if it has enough water because we are going to pressure cook it so let's ab add above the potatoes so far we have added about 4 to 5 cups of water and let's pressure cook it for another 20 minutes so that the potatoes get ready. Okay, we'll be back in about 20 minutes. I usually put it at 7 and 2. So the potatoes have been pressure cooked for about 25 minutes and let's see if it's ready. You can see the potatoes are breaking, so that means that the potatoes are ready. And uh, we'll make the soup a little bit heavier, or if you want it like that, you can have it as is. So we'll garnish it with the chopped coriander or cilantro, and it's already ready to be served. So let's give it two minutes to simmer, just to make it heavy because we like it a bit heavy and uh, while we chop our coriander for the garnish so I just took about a handful of coriander and we are chopping it into small so we shall switch off the cooker and our go-to meal is already prepared. Why it's not as a go-to meal? Because we all we usually make chickpeas on a bi-weekly basis, probably or yeah, or every three weeks because it's cheap. And this is how we serve. We'll break some, it can serve at least up to about four people or five. We we'll serve it with lace chips. We we'll serve it with lace chips into broken pieces. So, let's it up. With the lace chips, all you do is just crush them up. Just mix it up. And that's how you have it. Mmm, it's nice. 